Hello, everybody. I'm Scatter. Welcome back to Divine Journey 2, the only Minecraft mod pack. Uh, so between episodes, I did a couple of things. I did a lot of things, actually. Uh, so first off, you can kind of see I, I reorganized a little bit here. I made a couple more chests. Um, so in here, well, that's probably the least organized one. I just put some like natural materials in there. Uh, useful stuff I put in here. Um, I guess. I don't know. This is like plants and stuff. I guess the welcome book too. You know, maybe it's not the most uh, thought out organizational system in the world, but it'll it'll evolve. I think I'll get some uh, some iron chests once uh, iron plates become a little easier to come by. Also, uh, you may have noticed, I did switch out some of the switches on my keyboard, uh, mainly for like, you know, movement keys, sprinting and stuff. Uh, so they should be a lot quieter now if the clicking from the keyboard was bothering you before it shouldn't anymore if you like the clicks um sorry i think uh most people would probably be annoyed by it if they noticed it at all rather than uh enjoy it but there is that also uh i went down i did get those diamonds i said i was gonna get at the end of last episode looked around a little bit for some more uh didn't really find anything but you know we have eight that's a little bit to start us off and i did get a bunch of seared bricks so that should be good to get us set up for our first uh, smeltery. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, so I'm going to try and make it kind of big. I'll make it three by three, which I guess is not huge. Um, but let's get into the quest here and see what we got. So we do need the smeltery controller, which is going to be a block of redstone. Just make a bunch of those. I'll end up using them. And then the block of redstone, which is right here conveniently yeah these crafting stations are great i didn't even realize for the longest time that um you could pull from a chest that was next to these that's really really useful okay so there's the smeltery controller so we have the controller the tank uh we're gonna need a faucet for sure we're gonna need a drain which i think is no well we're gonna need that's a casting channel we shouldn't need that we're gonna need a table. Okay, hang on. We got the quest for that. We got some item conduits for that, which are definitely gonna come in handy. The drain is going to be a uh, faucet, and so they're like that. So we will need another faucet, in fact. And well, we actually, you know what? This is gonna be a lot more future-proof, I think, if I just go ahead and make two of these right now. And then this is going to be like this, was it? No. Okay, backwards. Probably could have just clicked that in uh, through JEI, but that's okay. We've got our stuff there now. And then just, so a table and a basin are going to be the other things I need, which are going to be, oh, uh, iron plates for those. Do I need an iron plate for the basin? No, but I need a cauldron, so yes. <laughs> So I need eight iron plates before I can do anything useful with the smeltery. Um, really, I would want to go for just the one first because then I can make more plates out of the smeltery and then that's going to be a lot more resourceful, I believe. I think because right now it's two, two iron to a plate. I think with the, um, with the smeltery, it would be one iron to a plate. I hope so. But yeah, let's just get a little bit more iron smelted up. Because we can ore double with the smeltery, at least I think we can. Um, I don't want to use up too much of this iron ore, although, you know, it's iron. It's not the most precious resource out there, but rather not use more ore than I have to at the moment. Um, yeah, I did go ahead and grab a bunch of wood earlier as well. So hopefully should be fine on wood. I'm just going to make a whole bunch of sticks and get our iron hammer, which I would have assumed the other hammer would work for this, but I guess not. So there's our one iron plate, and then we should be able to use that to make a casting table. Now, where is that going to be? That's right here. Okay. So with this, we should be able to set up a smeltery. So I'm going to put it inside. You know, I could put it outside. I'm going to put it down here. I think I'm going to recess it into the wall here a little bit. I'll make it three by three. And I guess I'll have it uh, maybe like too high for now. Like I'm not going to be, you know, processing the world with it right now. But yeah, let me just dig out this wall and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so as long as the mod didn't change anything drastic, which I have no reason to believe it did, this should be exactly what we want. So we need a floor of seared bricks. We need walls of seared bricks. We can throw all these in the walls. So these walls are going to be inaccessible to us. You know, they're going to be behind, uh, you know, the actual kind of walls of the home. Um, and then out here, we're going to need a smeltery controller. We're going to need two drains. And we're going to need a tank. I may even just get two tanks just for the sake of it. But uh, yeah, for now, this is going to be fine. And we can put the tank. Let's put it in this corner. Why not? And then... Uh, oh, actually, the tank in the corner is not going to work because it's going to need to be... Uh, that's going to need to be where the drain is. So tank can go there. Controller there. We're going to need just one more of these big bricks. And they can go there and there. And then the drains. There we go. We got the smeltery. And a drain and a table. And then a basin will go under here. So that's going to be about it. And then I got some lava. There's some more lava. You know, there's a bunch of lava underground. Uh, making, what are the tanks from, uh, from thermal, these portable tanks? These aren't too bad to make. You know, it's just some copper, iron, redstone, glass, lapis. You know, all this is very easy to, uh, to get right now. The copper plate is going to kind of be the only thing. And you know what? As I'm, as I'm saying this, I'm realizing that until we get to industri or immersive engineering here, we're not actually going to be able to make plates in a better way than with the hammer. So, okay. So I was mistaken about that. Um, unless iron plates are going to be different. Let's just see cauldron. Iron plate. No, compact. Well, that's going to be a while before we get into thermal machines for sure. And yeah, immersive engineering is not right away. So this is just showing us material stats. Okay, so that's not actually how to make it. Okay, so yeah, two iron to a plate. We're just going to have to live with that for a while. But uh, two iron from one ore is something that I believe we now have access to. So if we just grab some iron ore, let's just check the uses in... JEI. So smelting, it's one to one. If we melt it in the smeltery, two ingots per one ore. So that's perfect for us right now. Uh, now I wonder if we get any um, casts from these quests, and we do. I think ingot cast is probably going to be the most useful one. Uh, pickaxe head, like we're going to need all this stuff for sure, but ingot cast definitely going to be the most useful one to start out with, I think. And then we can make, okay, well, we could have just gotten two free seared faucets from this, uh, but I don't think we'll need any more of those. So I'll just grab the casting channels just in case I end up needing them in the future. Uh, that is just strictly better since they're made with more, you know, five seared bricks as opposed to three. But let's see where the quests want me to go next. So, oh, it actually does want me to do the, uh, the portable tank thing. Interesting. So uh, yeah, that'll get me a crescent hammer too, which is, I think, a pretty good uh, general purpose wrench uh, for lots of mods. So that's going to be pretty useful. And yeah, so I was kind of, kind of, <laughs> I was kind of trying to get this uh, lava filled tank anyway, just to power the smeltery. So um, I already have enough copper ingots, I think, to go ahead and make that. Like I said, there's not going to be a better way to get the plates than this right now. And. Let's just make sure again how many plates. So it's three plates, three plates. This has lots of durability on it. You know, 63, if it only uses one per plate, that's going to be not so bad at all. And then so we need lapis, redstone, or yeah, redstone for this. And we are going to need a few iron ingots. So what if there's no better time, melt up all this ore. You know, I don't, I don't think it would go faster. No, I, I mean, unless the mod pack changes this, but it's not going to go faster if there's only one in there. So it's fine just to do all these at once. A little bit slow, but it'll be worth it because all of this iron is going to give us 18 times 2, 36 ingots from 18 ore, which is not bad at all. And the reason that this can fit so many in is because we did a 3x3x2, three by three by which uh, is how many slots we have. In the meantime, let's see what else we're going to need. Just the lapis and the glass. I think I have some glass over here. Yep. 
That's just about done. So I need three of these for right now. And then the rest. See, if we had a basin, then it would go a lot faster because you could just put out a block at a time. And I think it, it definitely takes longer to, to cool and harden than the ingots do. I don't know if it's like nine times longer. I don't know if it's like proportional, but I'll just leave one going just for efficiency's sake. I could probably make a few of those servos. They're probably going to be useful, although I really can't say how useful they would be right now. Maybe that's just going to come later. Oh, I guess more of these tanks would be fine, too. But anyway, I don't think there's far to go down here until I find a lava pool. So I'll just run down here. I'm kind of starting to get my bearings in this, uh, this cave that I found down here, but not entirely yet, but I'm sure it'll come. You know, I recognize landmarks like this gravel staircase that I built. And like the, uh, all the scary things that are trying to kill me. So, yeah, so I think it's over here. And then, okay, I may have just gone in a circle. Yeah, I definitely did. Okay, maybe I don't know my way around as much as I would like to yet. Just basically going down is good. And I find it easier, honestly, to find my way out than to find my way down to, uh, to this area. So, yeah, there's our big lava pool. Now, I think there may be a way to just right-click as if this tank was a bucket. Um, but I've tried it before, and it doesn't work. It's probably some kind of config thing. Uh, but I'm not going to risk like throwing this in lava and you know accidentally <laughs> burning it or losing it. Anything like that. Oh my god. Um, so, shit. Oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this is a good time to show this that I, uh, I was going to mention it at the beginning. This pack has... I, I don't know what this mod is from. I meant to look it up, so excuse me. But if you do slash set home, then you can do slash home, and it'll teleport you home to wherever you did set home. So uh, that's really useful. Um, especially for, you know, pre-bed, pre-spawn point setting. <laughs> yeah, so there is, uh, there's them, and the grave is going to be really annoying because it's probably covered in lava, right? Unless I did manage to pick up what was there in a bucket. But, uh, yeah, you know, if that feels, if that feels cheaty, you know, let me just say, I, I'm, 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 it's, you know, intended because, like, look, if you do it again, there is a cooldown, you know, so there's a bit of balance there. It's not just, like intended for servers or anything like that. You know, I think it is just uh, kind of an intended single player gameplay mechanic. Uh, I mean, you can still think it's cheaty if you want, but I'm still going to use it. Something is near me. Oh, there he is. Oh, we got him with the lava. Look, that wasn't even on purpose. Okay, so maybe I was just trying to be a little bit too quick with the lava before. I'll take my time a little bit. These only hold 20 buckets, you know, so this is going to be pretty quick going. Maybe one more. That should be all. And it's going to need the... Uh... Man, if I need an iron axe to pick this up, I'm going to be upset. I should go make one just in case, right? I mean, I don't want to break it. Okay, be right back. I'm pretty sure that I would have been fine to pick this up with the stone axe. Yeah, because look, it's not even going that much faster with the iron. I think the tool they actually want is the crescent hammer that I'm about to get from the reward. Yeah, so I think I would have been fine. Oh, that's only 18,000? Damn, okay. Two more buckets. Wait. That has to be it now. Yeah, okay. Well, I might as well grab an extra bucket. 21 instead of 20. Not going to make the, the life or death difference, but you might as well if you can. And that should be the quest done. And we got the Crescent Hammer. So I should remember to use that. It's going to come in handy. Two Platinum ingots. I don't know what I'm going to use that for, but I think Platinum is pretty rare. And then Arlamite or Rupee Ore. Uh, I mean, I don't know what either of those do. I'm going to... I'm going to take the rupee ore because it sounds cooler, to be quite honest with you. And then then it just wants alumite. Really? So that's obsidian with aluminum and iron. 
lava buckets on smeltery drains to insert lava into your smeltery. So you can actually make obsidian inside of the smeltery itself. That's something I actually didn't know. So that's really good to know. And I think it's going to come in handy. And as long as I'm thinking of it, I should set up an infinite water source inside of my house. Again, assuming that that's still a thing that the uh, pack is going to let me do. This doesn't seem like a pack that would take away infinite water, though. I think this pack is generally... It's like, you know, I'm sure it's hard. I mean, look, there's how many... Oh, God, 30 quest lines. And I mean, you know, let's just take a peek. Like, you know, they're, they, get, they get pretty intense, you know, because uh, I'm sure every single one of these is way harder than, like, all of this put together, right? So, you know, I'm sure it gets hard, but in terms of, like, making kind of mundane stuff harder, you know, like water sources or hunger... Stuff like that. It doesn't seem like it changes up the uh, vanilla mechanics too, too much, which I think is nice. So, yeah. So before I get to make the obsidian in here, I'm going to get the rest of the iron out. Um, and so actually I'll put the lava in here. Let's get some water. So let's just make the... Uh, the classic 3x3. Three three. I'll just stick the water source in the wall here. There's a river right outside. And my stuff's been growing. I realized, too, that I, I kept talking about how I would use this cotton to make a bed. Uh, even after I looked and realized that I, I couldn't use it to make a bed. So I um, feel kind of stupid for that, but it is what it is. Uh, the cotton is not going to be super useful for a bit, but I'm sure it's going to be useful for other things, so I'll keep it growing here. And I'll, uh, I'll harvest the wheat here while I'm at it, too, because I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do for food in this pack quite yet. It's not something I have to really worry about too much right now. But we'll get it figured out, and I'm sure the more things that we grow, the better it'll be. Okay, yeah, so we got infinite water. That's fine. Um, so, yeah, so we can make a casting basin as soon as we can make a cauldron, which is going to take 14 ingots. So once we have 14 ingots, we're going to be able to make that. And then, I mean, by that time, that's going to be almost all of these out anyway. But in the future, it'll be easier to get stuff out of here. And I, I believe that's the only way to get obsidian out. All right, I think you can make obsidian tool parts too. But, like, if you want to get actual blocks of obsidian, you are going to need that. Which we definitely may want to do in the future. So let me see, what does this quest actually want? So it's alumite, which is made from iron, obsidian, and aluminum. Five, two, and two. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, I guess this is supposed to be like a really good material. It has magnetic on it, which is really nice. I believe that, uh, you know, when you mine stuff, it just goes straight into your inventory instead of dropping on the ground. Super useful. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure what to use in terms of like tool rods or the, the bindings or um, forget what they actually call them, like the X-shaped stuff, right? But uh, usually I go for like wood <laughs> on those. Probably not the most efficient thing. Maybe I'll you might for all of it. Probably not though. Generally the stuff that's good for like tool heads and, and that is not good for... Uh, the other parts of the tool. Some more of those. Just two for now. I don't think I'm going to be using seared bricks for much else uh, unless I want to expand the smeltery, which I'm sure is going to happen. So yeah, there's still a whole block in there plus seven ingots. I guess I could leave some ingots because I'm going to be using them to make the alley mine anyway. Uh, right, so you're going to want some lava and some water. So put that in directly through the drain. One to one. Should be one to one, right? Yeah, so one block of obsidian. Now we got six iron ingots. And then it should just be aluminum is the other thing. Yeah, so it's a lot of aluminum. Do I have any aluminum at all? I have tin. I have silver. I do have aluminum. Okay, how about that? So I think aluminum melts pretty quickly in here. I don't know how much of this I'm going to need. Let's see how much I get right away. We got one ingot, two ingots. Are we going to get to three? 
we have exactly enough to make three. So that worked out really, really well. Um, but now I do need a pickaxe head cast, which means I need either gold or aluminum brass. But we'll do that. We'll do that. Let me just again make sure that there's no quest or anything for this and I'm not losing, uh, you know, losing efficiency here by making things I don't actually have to make. So the only my pickaxe can mine anything up to obsidian, which is good. So it's basically diamond, if not a little better. And that can be automated, but I mean, I don't really see the needs automated. If we need a lot more alumite in the future, we can definitely look into automating it. But right now, it doesn't seem incredibly necessary. So all I'm going to need are a couple of blank patterns. Right now, I need a pickaxe head. And... That's pretty much it. I can make this out of anything. So I'll just go ahead and make it out of cobble because it's cheap. And then what you do is, you know, just as you would normally, as I'm sure many of you do all the time, you just put it in to use as kind of like a mold and then you cast it. So as soon as the gold melts, yeah, consumes cast. Yeah, two ingots of gold or two ingots... Oh, one ingot of brass. Okay. Maybe there's a different kind of brass you can use too. Yeah, aluminum brass. So that would only be one. But, you know, that takes aluminum and copper. We're using aluminum for something else, so it's fine. You know, gold is common enough. I don't mind using it for this. I didn't realize it was only one brass ingot for these, though. Again, probably going to be... Uh, useful in the future if we need to like mass produce them but for right now i'm not as worried about it another thing you can do as well is uh you can get a, a pattern chest the same one you would use up here which i still have to get by the way you can put it here and you can put the casts in it uh which is real convenient when you have like a dozen different casts that you're using pretty frequently Hey, and we get a little bit of extra gold back for that, which is nice. So then it wants us to use the pickaxe to mine obsidian, uh, even though it kind of just taught us how to make obsidian in here, which I mean, I guess is fine. Um, you know, it's not like it's gonna be that much better, I guess, right? Like, well, well, sexy, okay, that's what I want in there. The more you can extract a block out of here, because it's so much faster, I think the better. So then do, do they give us any guidance here on how to uh, actually use this? It just says create an alumite pickaxe. I know how to do it, but I just don't know maybe what the best uh, material would be for the, uh, for the rest of the tool. So we're going to need a couple more patterns, which we do have here. So we need a tool rod, and we need... A binding pattern. So they do call it binding. I thought they called it something else for some reason. So let's just see. If I put in wood for this. Ecological. Durability 11. See, that's not good. Durability 11 is not good. I think stone may be even lower. Durability 15. Okay, it's not lower, but uh, it's not good. So durability 15. It'll add an extra 15 durability. This will add an extra 11. But... If you make it out of, and you can't even like preview it with that, which is kind of unfortunate, but I think JEI might tell you. So like, yeah, sold binding adds a whole lot, but that's not something we're going to be able to make yet. You know, a lot of them do add an extra. And then the, the, the more important thing uh, besides the durability is going to be the uh, uh, attribute that they add, right? So like Mithril adds SOS, which I'm not sure what that is, but... Sounds kind of crazy. Silver would be holy. Bronze would be dense. Copper, well-established. Copper, well-established sounds like a good one. That's not too crazy, right? I'm thinking I'm going to go for copper. And then for the tool rod, I'm, tool rod, I'm fine with just using wood. I'm in the wrong machine. 
ecological. That's fine. It's fine. You know, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but I think it'll work out. What's the worst that could happen, right? And then we're going to need a couple of more casts, so we need to mash up all this gold. Not sure why mash was the verb I chose there. Uh, but on the uh, on the other hand, while I wait for that stuff, I am going to make a couple of more chests here because I, that's something I definitely can do. And it's something I should do. So where's... Right, okay, so we got iron nuggets. I'm still not sure about the drawers, though. So I think I'm going to want at least three of these. And really, you can't just automatically pull into there. And then the other blank patterns. So wait, so that's two, two pattern chests, because one is going to go down here by this. And you can throw casts in there, because it becomes a cast chest, see? And then, you know, it's just nice to have. I don't know if there's a way to, like, kind of automate between these two. But I'm sure if there is... Someone will tell me about it. Yeah, you know, I don't want to be too, you know, uh, you know, needy or like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, but please, if there's anything that I'm doing wrong, uh, feel free to yell at me in the comments. Um, I'm sure there's tons of it. So the part chest is going to be mostly, mostly the same here. So the pattern chest can go... Oh, there's the outside. Part chest is going to want to go by the tool station. Yeah, there we go. That works. And then this has access to all these. Nice. Then we are going to want a tool rod, which we already have. And just because I know it's going to be useful in the future, I'm going to go ahead and make the tool rod cast, even though I was just going to use that for the tool. I'll just make another one. So you have the head. We're about to get the binding. I think copper is what I said I would use for that. Maybe iron is fine. Magnetic? Well, it already is magnetic, and copper added way more durability, I think. So I'm going to go with this. Yeah, you can just right-click them right into that chest. So it should just be one ingot. And click on that to make it go to the bottom. Even though we're not, you know, we're not draining from the bottom, but it still works that way. And we can come straight up here to our tool station. Pick. Throw all the parts in. And... <laughs> We have basically the best pickaxe anyone's ever had in the world. And so when you mine with this, I don't have that much free inventory space, but that should just go straight into our inventory. It didn't, so it is magnetic. That probably just works on ore. I want to see this working, or else I'm going to feel ripped off. Let's see. Okay, this is some coal ore. Okay, so I, oh, it did kind of come towards us. Maybe... Maybe it's not the magnetic that, like, actually puts it directly into your inventory. Maybe it actually just pulls it towards you. Hmm, maybe not. Okay, you know what? I'll look into that, but in the meantime, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.